Hello everyone, I am Dr. Archana Singh, Associate Professor at Balaji Institute of International Business, Sri Balaji University, Pune. And today in this MOOC video, I am going to talk about a very interesting and a very important technique that is budgeting. Budgeting is a technique which is used for forecasting and estimation and which enables the manager to take very important and significant decisions for the business organization. What are we going to focus on as far as budgeting is concerned? Whether you are pursuing MBA, BBA or BCom, all of us have to study two important categories of budget. First is your flexible budget and the second is your cash budget. And I am going to talk in detail and give you some of the very important tips to understand the cash budget preparation and the flexible budget preparation. Budgets can be classified into three categories based on the function, classification and time. On the basis of function, to give you a few examples, the budgets can be research budget, cash budget, production budget, sales budget. On the basis of flexibility, we divide it into the category of fixed and flexible budget. And on the basis of timing, we can divide it into the category of short term or long term budget. What are we going to discuss is the preparation of flexible budget and the preparation of cash budget. When I talk about a flexible budget, what does it mean? The name itself indicates it is a budget prepared at different level of activity for the business. It is an estimate and forecasting done for different, different level of activity or different level of production. For preparing a flexible budget, I will give you two mantras the behavior of fixed cost and the behavior of variable cost. My dear friends, please remember when you prepare a, a flexible budget and you got to take into consideration the fixed cost and the variable cost, it is very, very important that you know that variable cost per unit does not change with the change in the level of production. Similarly, fixed cost in totality remains constant with the change in the level of production. But if you talk about the behavior of total variable cost, the total variable cost will change with the change in the level of production. If I am manufacturing 5 pens and 1 pen is for 10 rupees, what will be the cost of 5 pen? The total variable cost for 5 pens will be 50 rupees, right? Similarly, it will keep on increasing with the level of production. But no matter whatever the level of production is, the variable cost involved for one pen will remain to be 5 rupees. So please remember that the variable cost per unit remains constant. Let us talk about the total fixed cost. Let us say that a factory is paying rent of 1 lakh. Even if they are doing zero production or they produce 100 units or they produce 200 units, my dear friends, they will have to pay the factory rent of rupees 1 lakh. Remember the behavior of VC and FC as far as budget is concerned. Okay, so whenever you are preparing a flexible budget, how do we prepare it? The format is very, very easy and simple. You have the columns for level of activity and you have the columns for particulars. In your particulars, what you write down is the variable cost, the semi-variable cost and the fixed cost. So variable cost is the cost which varies with the production but per unit variable cost remains constant. The second category is your semi-variable cost. Semi-variable cost has the component of both. It has the component of fixed cost as well as it has the component of variable cost. So when we talk about the semi-variable cost, we will be segregating the cost based on the percentage given. If 80% is fixed, we will consider and treat that as fixed cost and 20% is variable, so we will consider and treat that 20% to be variable cost, right? And last but not the least, when you look at the format of a flexible budget, the third category is of fixed cost. So fixed cost does not change in totality with the change in the level of production. So that is what you write under particulars when you talk about the cost. The other columns would be prepared as per the level of activity or the level of production. Simple thing to remember, wherever you have a variable cost per unit given, you simply need to write down the same VC per unit 
for every level of production because variable cost per unit does not change. Now, when you talk, talk about the total fixed cost, the total fixed cost will also be written as the same if it was 1 lakh at 50 percent level of activity, it will be 1 lakh at 60 percent level of activity also and it will be 1 lakh at 100 percent of activity also. Okay? So, you will be writing the same total fixed cost in each and every category. You will be writing the same variable cost per unit in each and every category. Now, you must be always having the units of production wherever you have the per unit cost please multiply it with the production units wherever you have the total fixed cost please divide it with the production units and at the end your a variable cost plus b the semi variable cost plus c the fixed cost will give you the total cost and in the columns further you can write down the per unit cost and you can write down the total cost that was about flexible budget now, let me give you some of the tips for preparing a cash budget. The name itself suggests we prepare a cash budget to understand the cash position of the business. We need to estimate and forecast what is the cash position, what was the opening balance and what is the closing balance of the cash. The format of a cash budget is also very, very easy and simple. What do you write in a cash budget? We write all the cash receipts and we write all the cash payments. How do we start and end the cash budget? We start the cash budget with the opening balance of cash and we end the cash budget with the closing balance of cash. Closing balance of a particular month, say for example June, the closing balance of June will become the opening balance of July month, right? That is how we prepare the cash budget. But what are the important points to be kept in mind? The important points to be kept in mind while preparing a cash budget is you have to remember in which month the payment is done and in which month you are receiving the cash or you are receiving the money. So, the credit terms, the credit terms, the collection period, the payment period plays a very important role. Say for example, if a business collects the money from debtors, the collection from debtors happens after two months. So, if I am doing a credit sale in June, when will I collect the money? If the credit sale is done in June, I will collect the money in the month of August from my debtor. Similarly, the payment to the supplier, if they say that the lag of payment to the supplier is one month. So, if I am purchasing on credit from the supplier in the month of June, when will I pay them? I will pay them in the month of July. The only fundamental you need to remember for the cash budget is, please my dear friends, focus when are you receiving and when are you paying. There might be a possibility that credit sales is happening in June, but then you are receiving the money in August. You are purchasing on credit in the month of March, but you are making the payment in the month of April. Wages, the expenses are incurred in January, but you are paying them in the month of February. So, please write the correct amount in the correct column. So, remember whenever you are receiving, put it in that month. Whenever you are, paying, uh, whenever you are paying, put it under that month and you will be easily arriving at the closing balance of the cash and you will understand what is the cash position in every month or for a particular time period for the business. That is all about budgeting. I have only discussed some of the basics just in case you have studied this chapter in your syllabus, in your curriculum. This video will help you like a revision video and I am 100 percent sure that this will be very helpful to you. Thank you.